Hi again, everybody. This video is sponsored by Contribution from Anonymous, and here's our story. My family, my friends, and I refer to my narc as the devil. Not only is this man a narcissist, but I believe, after all the research and studying I've done, he is a narcopath, which is one dangerous human, if that's what you want to call them, because they are far from human. It's a mixture between a narcissist and a sociopath or a psychopath. I want to hear your feedback on the situation and your thoughts. I also believe my mother is a narcissist as well, and I want to know what you think really happened here. Two controlling narcissists trying to control me. I don't know, and I, and I am still baffled by, all, by it all and currently seeking therapy. Let me, say, let me begin by saying I hope this story can help women or men catch red flags from their narc. I wish I did years before I got swept up by mine. Okay, so I just turned 25, moved back in with my parents, and life was decent other than the fact that I was heartbroken, confused, and hurt from my previous relationship I saved myself from. And all the other bullshit I've dealt with my whole life being the scapegoat. I was naive, vulnerable, the typical heartbroken girl. And growing up, I was labeled as the problem child, and my two older sisters were perfect. So a few months went by, living at home. I have, I have two older sisters. One is married with three children. The other one was living with her boyfriend and in a very stable, happy relationship. When I moved home, so did my sister with her three children and husband. We won't get into that, but their marriage wasn't doing well because my brother-in-law suffers from PTSD from the war between... America and the Middle East. But let's say my older sister is the golden child in the family. I am the youngest in the family. I'm the black sheep. My middle sister is uncontrollable. Stays out on everyone's stays out on everyone's business. It's been like this since I was younger. So with my older sister moving in, usually a mother would be happy and excited to help her daughter, not my mother. Before my sister moved in, all I had to hear was how my mother wanted to retire in three years, enjoy her life with no children, start traveling and living her new life. In her eyes, her now golden child failed at life and needed to move back home with her kids to save up for a house because her and her husband were having financial difficulty. She fed my father lie after lie about my sister and her husband, which led to family discord in the house. Calling in my sister and her husband losers, this put a strain on their relationship because my mother would scream and my brother-in-law would hear the comments and would be even more depressed. Hearing that all day and night was driving me insane. My father is an enabler to my mother, who is a narc. I realized in between the period where I moved home and the period where I met the devil narc, my mother had no emotions toward me or helped me with my heartache in any way. Every time I would ask her for advice, she would tell me she can't help me, and I don't know what to tell you. And then she would state how her personal life is worse. I grew up in a big colonial-style house with a finished-off basement, which my sister moved into, so there was really no reason why my parents would say no. And my mother knew if she, didn't, if she did say no, she would look like a terrible mother, especially with having a whole lower-level vacant which I couldn't move into even before my sister was even in her financial situation because God forbid I was happy. So now, with my sister living home with my mother, was in control of her. My mother was obsessed with my older sister in her relationship with her husband. She has been obsessed with my sister from the moment she was born and always said the first child is the most special. So with all that nonsense going on, I was like a ghost in the house. My father worked constantly, and my mother was obsessed with my older sister and her situation. So I was just there, invincible, until I started dating a narcopath, which lit a fire under my mother, which led my mother to attack me. I met my narc online on Facebook. He messaged me, and of course I bit the bait. He was 38, which I thought came out, came out that he was really 44, and I was 25. Before I get into this, I am trying my best to tell the story in a short version. A lot more gaslighting has happened, and what I'm not, and what not, but I'm still literally mentally fucked, and I feel like I am unmolding my brain as if the devil himself was playing with it, like silly putty for two years. 
Okay, so he was very, very handsome, charming, and president of the company. Seemed stable at the time. When I brought this to my mother's attention, her first words were, what does a president of a company want to do with you? That was her first dig. Anyway, our first date, he closed down a portion of the restaurant, so we were secluded. He was very smooth with his words, extremely articulate, and knew exactly what he was doing. My God, I thought, I found the love of my life. I was certain I was going to be with this man forever. I was swept off my feet. On our first day, he told me I was his soulmate, and he found what he was looking for all along. Listen, anybody tells you that shit on a first date is full of shit. You don't know. You don't know. A few days go by after the dinner date. I was on cloud nine, beyond cloud nine. I felt high. I woke up to the sweetest text messages, voicemails, and phone calls. During the day, it was the same attention. And at night, I was out of work. And at night, when I was out, out of work, I, I received even more attention from him. I thought it was great, finally a man who was consistent. He told me he was 38, was single, no wife, no children, never been engaged. He's, he's nothing, just a single man trying to find the right woman, which led me to believe he was me. After those, few days, after those few days go by, he calls me saying his flight landed early and wants to come over to meet my family. At this point, I was still living at home and have had... And, have only known him for a week, if not less. A few hours goes by, he comes over. Later on, I realized I never gave him my address. But I was so so excited about this older, handsome man who I was love bombed by, so I honestly wasn't able to realize how many red flags were getting thrown in my face. Dinner was interesting. My mother asked him at least 70 questions. He was charming my, he was charming my entire family except my mother. The dinner was all about him, his life as a president of the company, his house, his cars, his this, his that. His, my mother turned to me and said, do you think you can have a better life than me? I just ignored it. And I didn't care about any of that, any of the materialistic assets. I was unbelievably attracted to him beyond what I've ever felt before. He was just an alpha male, got what he wanted, and he always... When, when he wanted it, no matter what it took. I always thought that was a good characteristic trait to have at first. After the family dinner, he told me he was in love with me and loved my family. A few days went by and the texts and phone calls got even more persistent. Next thing you know, he's showing up at my work with beautiful flowers, introducing himself as my new boyfriend. Once again, I gave him the address. I never gave him the address of my employment, but Google will always reveal a person's life. At this stage of the game, I thought he was just called it courting me. But now that I look back, he was just a narcissistic man playing the first stages of his game at his very best. And I was, I was being used like disposable chess piece. Time went on and the love bombing got even more intense. Love notes, flowers at my house and work. Very, very, very romantic nights by the beach, romantic restaurants, long walks. He gave me a beautiful diamond necklace in the most romantic way. He then turned it, he then, then it turned into a meeting at luxury hotel suites when he was traveling for work. Candlelit room with rose petals. Now that I look back, God only knows how many books this man read to mirror fake love stories. My mother was still obsessing over my older sister and my father was still working seven days a week. So life was good. I was in love and getting affection back, and I was able to come and go as I pleased. The affection I lacked with my family, I was getting from him. And at the family dinner, he realized my family nitpicked me, and my sisters can do ne can never do it, never do wrong. And he used that as a tool in his game of manipulation. When my mother started seeing all the attention this man was giving me. That is when she started acting weirdly jealous. I worked in the beauty in the beauty industry. She would make an appointment with me, then cancel on the la on the last minute, and then try to make me fit in, fit her in on my most busiest days. 
when I realized what she was doing, I told her she needs to stick to her appointment or I'm not doing her hair because when she cancels it, it screws up my day and I and I can I can put it in a paying client because I am commission I am commission based. Her comment back was, you just hate me. That's why you don't want to do my hair. You think you're better than me. Her comments, her tone of voice, her demeanor around the house got worse and worse. She would she would stare at me with evil eyes when I would ask her what, what what's wrong. She would turn to my father and tell him I was looking at her crazy. I realized she would she started bashing me to my sisters about how I am just being used by an older man and must like it. She was also saying how if she was as pretty as me, she'd be living totally different lifestyle, attracting a nicer man. Till this day, I still don't understand what that even means. That means she would have a better husband, a husband better than her, than your father. It's only because you got you have looks, you got a guy like that. She, all, she decided to go and research this man I was dating and got my sisters and fathers to also do research. Well, what my, what my mother found is he was married with a son. His wife and him lived in a very wealthy area about an hour away from my hometown. Him and his wife lived together. I, I brought this to his attention. It turned out I was the bad guy for not trusting a word and how my family wants to destroy any happiness I have. So I took his word over my family's, and that's when it all took a turn. Meanwhile, every time this man did something sweet for, for me, like send, send me flowers, my mother always made digs and comments. My mother now got obsessed with my relationship with him. She hated him from day one. So now that my mother is obsessed with my situation and has it in her head how evil he is, it takes the heat off my older sister and her situation. So now my older sister is under my mother's spell and is acting like my mother never tormented her. Do I believe my mother hated him because he was really out to kill me emotionally? No. She hated him because he was going to expose her. Narcs don't want to be exposed. So when one is battling, so when one is battling the other, the game is who can expose who first quicker. And I got mixed up in that triangle of hell for years. When I tell you my mother was obsessed, I mean that's not even the right word for it. Her narc behavior really, really spiked high. He told me he he told me he's not married. He told me he is not married with no kids, and my mother mistaken that child, that woman and child. He he now and then said they were his sister and nephew. He said they were living together so the nephew can get a better public school system since his sister doesn't have the money to, for private school. Time went on and my mother made my life a living hell because I didn't believe her word over his. But at that point, regardless, I needed to figure it out on my own. And God forbid my mother lets me validate my own emotions or opinions. My mother also started pinning my father and sisters against me, making up terrible lies about me and my relationship, starting to spread the word around town. Her husband is dating a married man, and she is disgusted. So who else did I have to fall back on on this point? The narc, the devil, the man in that mix. His love bombing started to slow down, and he now obsessed with my mother, feeding me nonsense how no one can make me happy but him how my family hates me and is jealous of the love me and him share, how my parents don't love each other so they don't understand the love me and him have in our bond. I heard this every single day, in and out, for months on end. I also heard my mother's mean comments day, day in and day out about myself and my sister. I started listening to my mother and shying away from him, only because I was still living at home and she made it hell. I had no privacy in the house, so I started to isolate myself. After work, I would drive around to nowhere just to clear my head, and she would call me a hundred times and would start trying to monitor me. So with all this behavior, so with all this behave with all this is behavior change. For example, I asked, Hey honey, how is work? 
it's admin's day. Did you do anything special for your admin? His response was, yeah, I bent her over my desk for an hour and fucked her brains out. His comments started getting to that, to that point about being with other women and so on. He would dial me by accident and have conversations about other women, about other women being with other women sexually. I got more upset in his comments, with his comments and his butt dials, the more I was called insecure and a C on C on what really look what your mother do to me and say about me and my sister and nephew. All I do is work all day and you're mad over a joke. Meanwhile, his jokes weren't funny, so I started paying more attention to his behavior with other women on social media, which led me to see that he was posting sexual comments on several women's pictures. I also saw the sweet words he would say to me verbatim on women's pictures. I also started paying attention to his phone. There was a new woman's name coming up every week and a, a new app notification about Winx which I had no clue at the time were dating site notifications. I mean, this man loved me so much and stood by my side with my mother's outrageous behavior. How could he betray me? I was confused and sad and the man I loved and thought loved me was getting mean and my mother who always was mean was just getting worse. So with this information, I didn't, it didn't take him, I didn't take him seriously anymore. I was like living with a dead person at this point, just mind fucked from all the angles. I wasn't responding through social media or texting like I used to. I wasn't feeding his ego with how amazing he made me feel mentally and sexually. And when I mean sexually, you know, you know you're dating a narco past when during intercourse they tell you how they're how you are theirs and no one else can touch you and they are the only one who can ever please you and if you screw up they will please other people so I started seeing an old friend for an escape to find some happiness again a few coffee dates a few dinner dates someone my age because I started seeing the narc's behavior and the game he and what his game was so I started seeing other people slowly trying to cut the narc devil man out at the same time. When I would see the narc devil man on occasion, he was starting to search through my phone when I was in the bathroom or would just grab it from me and answer my friends through text pretending to be me. He was playing very strange games with everyone in my life, but he did this the entire time, but, we were on, but only when I was sleeping. Since my behavior changed, he got a little more nar narcotic and more controlling. So the narcopath decides to clone my phone. He had two phones. One was his. The other was the exact copy clone of mine. Every text, phone call, email, everything I did on my phone was recorded onto his second phone. And that is when he found out of my friend I was hanging out with. But at the time, he told me he found out through social media, which is a lie. And I will get to that later on. I had no idea he cloned my phone until I found it months later. When he found out about my friend, that is when I turned around and said, who cares about it because you're the one lying about your wife and your son and your age. That is when he actually came clean with his lie. But he only used it used his lie against me and pinned it on me saying, you knew the whole time and you were just a cheating slut. Meanwhile, I never cheated. I was just having friendly conversation and having fun with a guy my own age who was normal. Was waiting for the truth to come out. Either this woman was his wife or sister. I didn't know, but I loved him. I didn't know, but I loved him and wanted to believe him. He sounded so promising, everything he said. She was just a sister. He lied his entire life, and I'm the one to blame for it. Only a true narcissistic person can flip that around. So we, decide, so we decided his lie and my cheat that we would clean the slate. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I was seeing other people because he was lying and had no clue 
who to believe, him or my family. So I just said fuck it and did my own thing. After he came clean, he said he understood why I saw an other man and realized how much his lie hurt me. He also said that he didn't want to tell me because he knew I he knew I would never have gave him gave him the time of day, which is the truth, and this is when everything turned to deep hell for me. He said he will get a divorce to prove how much he loved me. And he's been trying to leave this woman for years, but she leeches on to him. I've had enough of this man, so I contacted his wife. Just to realize she is just as crazy as him. She said they are living together and are married only on paper, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what is worse at this point, my mother or this man. So I just chose one narc over the other. So I just choose him like an idiot. This devil man made me cut off my friendship with a nice normal guy. So, so I did. This older man manipulated social media and turned it on me. For example, he would create fake profile accounts and act as if he was a younger man trying to contact me. He would also write notes on my car as if this younger man who I cut off was stalking me. Me and the devil were at the mall and he went to the bathroom while I was in the dressing room. He planted a note on my car from the younger man and the note was a crazy jealous note, very alarming. I told the devil I was going to go to the cops to end this harassment from this younger man. He grabbed the paper and lit it on fire and said, forget it, I will protect you. I'm the only one who will ever protect you from this man. So he's setting up with this guy the same thing he did with your parents, like I'm your protector. So I was caught up in this gaslighting nonsense. I didn't realize it was him until I contacted the younger man and he had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't know about the notes or the social media accounts. My phone number called the younger man and the younger man's number called me. We never called each other. The devil man downloaded a phone number swap app that you can call people from false numbers. Well, he used that app, that app to gaslight. I had no idea what the devil narc man was even talking about until I kept contacting this younger man about all this nonsense. Came out to be the younger, the older devil man, made a fake profile on social media, pretended to be a girl, and friended my younger guy friend. Played it off like he was a girl looking to meet new people. So with all this going on, I felt like I had to get to the bath, get to the bottom of it. With all the women calling the devil man, commenting back and forth on Facebook and Instagram, he was telling me he was only flirting because I was in contact with the younger man and how I am a cheater. Meanwhile, he was really the one contacting me, pretending to be the younger man, and I was the only contacting the younger man, asking what was going on. The devil was exposed by the younger man. He threatened him in the worst way. When I would contact the women who were messaging the devil man on social media, I would ask what is going on. He asked in a very nice way, not threatening at all, then would message him and ask him who I was and he would play it off as I was the crazy one. I now realized it was triangulation. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I thought we were supposed to be on a clean slate. So I took it upon myself to go to this older man's hometown. He got, he got a hotel room, and that is when I realized he had a phone number, to, which was a clone of my phone. I packed up and didn't look back. For a few days, this older man called me over 300 times, sent flowers every time. I would block him on social media. He would make another profile to message me, call me on all sorts of phone numbers after I blocked the last number he called me on, filling my head with only with only someone who loved you would chase you like this come on please come home to be with me i'm the only one for you who can take care of you and love you forever between my mother's mental abuse and his bullshit i was legit mentally worn down my birthday came around i went to a polo match with my entire family he was there then left i was heartbroken and saddened by seeing him so my friends decided to take me out to a private party after the match. My mother told me there. My mother told wait. My mother told told. 
my mother told me, my friend told me, wait, my mother told my friend and I, she didn't care if I went and we can do cake the next day. My mother said, you're only in your 20s once, so go and have fun. Now keep in mind, she didn't bring the cake to the match. So I didn't even know if we were doing cake that same day. She said I can go, so I went and got home at a decent time around 11 p.m. I came home to hell. My mother threw my birthday cards and threw away my birthday cake. I was so confused about it. She said to me I didn't deserve it because I was upset over a loser man, and she put so much effort into my birthday, and I decided to go out after the match. Meanwhile, she told me she can go and do cake the next day. So with all this going on, I'm getting, I'm getting skinnier and skinnier, and I'm miserable, tired, and emotionally drained, and have no energy. I'm not glowing, and I'm just a living dead person. I would isolate myself in my room and just ex in exist. Instead of a parent asking how I'm doing, I would get yelled at about it how I am a waste of life. Meanwhile, I still worked over 40 hours a week and paid all my bills and didn't rely on anyone but myself. I never ask for help because if she helps you, you will owe her and she will never forget it. That night on my birthday, I decided to take sleeping pills. Enough to scare myself. It was, it was going... Enough to scare myself if I was going to wake up or not. My mother and that devil man killed my soul at this point. The next day, I really don't remember. All I remember is getting rushed to the hospital and then ended up in the mental institution part. I felt dead, but I was alive. I can't explain it. So I get released, and my mother and father and middle sister were there. My father is not a narc, neither is my middle sister. So they were truly scared and worried. I hugged my father and cried in his arms when I got released from the room. In that moment, that precious moment I shared with my father, my mother turns to me and said, why didn't you hug me first? I'm your mother. So time went on, and my devil narc was still trying to contact me and win me back. He was playing social media games with the young man manipulating the phones. My father tried to get close to me and help me. And well, well, let me ask you something. Why didn't your father and your sister go find this fucking guy and grab him by the throat and say, you ever touch me, you ever contact my daughter again, I'll rip your goddamn head off. Your father's enabling all this, whether you want to accept it or not. My father tried to get close to me and help me, and that's when my mother seriously went insane. She sabotaged my relationship with my father, constantly bashing in his ear how I am crazy. I have issues, only a doctor can help me, and so on. Days went on, living with my mother was getting worse. She was still obsessed with this man, even though I was trying to break away from him. And the more my fa and the more my father had my side, the more she went insane. But she kept the drama between her and I and the devil man alive by hounding me about it. She would stalk his social media accounts and say, See, he's baiting you by posting how he loved you. He's baiting me, but baiting me, yes, but she was just insane, yes. Fuck my life even more at this point. Point, it gets worse. I literally felt the need to run away because my sister, who is the shining star, failed at life by living with my parents, is now the shining star again. And I'm the crazy scapegoat. Exhausting. I caved in and met this narc, this narc devil to talk. I fell back into this trap. My mother was absolutely furious. Why would you go back and talk to him? See, I'm beginning to see, I, I think you kind of like the drama because it's torturing your mother. 
you like torturing your mother. So you're playing a role in this as well at this point. I mean, like, you have this need. This is your way of fighting back with your mother, but your mother's playing a different game than you. My mother also found online the gifts the man gave me were gifted from his wife. Gross. So she wanted to get coffee, and she played like she wanted to talk and help me. We get into the car, and she drives to my father's work. My dad gets in the car, and they drive me to the local police station. My mom turned to me and said, I either tell the police this man cloned my phone, or they were going to put me back in the mental hospital. I felt violated and trapped, so we went to the police station. I told the police what happened. The police called the narc man, and the narc man said he never cloned my phone, and this is why my family is mad at him, and we should be celebrating my pregnancy. The cops called the family and told them this man was, said he wasn't sure why they were so upset, and then said the cops said I was pregnant. I was not pregnant at all. I had to prove to my family I was not pregnant. So with all this happening, my mother was even more furious because the devil man manipulated the cops. Meanwhile, she was manipulating me to get under his skin. So what did my father do after a few days go by? And I am literally 87 pounds and mentally shot. He gets me a puppy to make me happy. What does my mother do? She lets the dog out of the crate when I was not home or when I was sleeping. So the puppy destroyed the house, and they blame it on me and tell my father I can't keep it an animal. And they get rid of it. So I said, fine, get rid of it. Then my mother said, it's her dog anyway. She will keep it. Meanwhile, we were living together. My dad bought the dog for me. So I took the puppy, packed up, ran off to a different state and to meet, meet the narc man. Why? You're just playing ping pong here. And um, look, and I, I hate to say this to you, but you do have some, I have no doubt your mother is mentally ill, but you need some therapy because you're not acting healthy. This isn't normal. The narc man played it off like he knew it was my parents who forced me to call the cops and how I'm being manipulated by everyone around me. What does the narc man do? Tell me the same bullshit out. He is the only one who can love me and how no one else can ever be able to love me, especially with dealing with a crazy mother. <coughs> <coughs> he then pops out a ring and proposes to me. So I suppose, so at this point, he filed for divorce and now wants to get engaged. He promised me he was living in an apartment by this point and separate from the woman, which was another lie I found out. So I said yes, thinking his bullshit was true, ignoring the fact he lied about his life from day one. My mother is furious. When she finds out, now I have... My father calling me all sorts of names, acting just like my mother. My mother then told me I was disowned and not her child anymore. So, of course, when the narc posted online we were together, message started blasting through from other women that they were blasting him, questioning him. You had a fiancé this whole time. The other women said, I thought we were together. Other women said, I thought we would end up together. His reply to me when I asked him, what that was all about, he told me he would tell the women he will marry them if they make it. Deep down, I knew that's what he told me, but I bit the bait like an asshole. So I left the state and went back to my parents' house. The next day I had it with messages and kept thinking about it, and I didn't want to deal with my narc anymore. So I decided to cut communication for the hundredth time. I also signed into his email account and found him on several sex sites and affairs and porn sites. So him chasing me wore me down, and the next week I went to therapy for an hour, which my mother hated. The therapist, because my therapist called 
my mother a narc. I met this man at the local beach to talk and blasted him about what I found online through email and exposed him. And boom, there she, there she was, my mother, who followed me from therapy appointment to the beach without knowing. She was on the phone with my father. She came up to the car and was calling me names and made a huge scene at the beach and had my father on speakerphone. She lied to my father and said she found me and my narc having sex on the beach when we were legit in his car, sitting separately, fully clothed, just talking. You keep putting yourself in these positions. And I think you're doing it to torture both your narcs, but you're only torturing yourself. You're playing this game. One narc pisses you off, you go back to the other narc. You're playing a narc ping pong, and you don't realize you're the ball. You're trying to enact some kind of revenge on your mother here, and this isn't the way to do it. Because you're enacting revenge on somebody who's even more manipulative and dangerous. I have no doubt your mother's a narcissist. Everything you say in here, she is a narcissist. Stop trying to enact revenge on the narcissist. You can't do it like that. My mother and father threw me out of the house verbally in front of everyone at the beach and my narc. So I went to my parents' house where I lived. My father was throwing my belongings out the window, screaming horrible things at me, and my mother was loving it. You should have just called the cops, because if that's your legal address, they can't throw you out. My mother turned to me and said that she wished I went through with killing myself the night that night so she didn't have to suffer. So at this point, my car and my narc's car is packed up. Where does he bring me to his house with his wife and child? I get to the house and the woman said how she feels so bad for me, how her her and this man are roommates and they haven't been sexually together sexually in over eight years and so on. It was so weird, but I was so shocked I had to work the next day. I organized my things in the garage all night, went to work the next day, didn't hear from my family. A few days go by and he is feeling on top of the world and turned to me and said, she must be hating that I have this hot young girl with me and she's old and miserable. Meaning his wife must be rotting away inside were exact words. Meanwhile, that woman hated him and she called him a sex addict, a drug addict, a narcissistic sociopath, and she was right. I called my family for help and no one reached out. They cut me off. I called my cousin who was told by my mother not to help me. Same situation with my middle sister and my grandmother. My mom cut off everyone who can help me. So I called my father and begged to come home because I was scared. So I, so I told my father where I was. And then that minute I went home. My mother legit made my life even more living hell. So I broke it off with my narc. But now at this point, my mother was screaming how I used to how used and abused to be used in a divorce for revenge and whatnot made me feel even worse about the situation. Meanwhile, this man is married and not showing up for court for his divorce, and it gets dismissed. He's still hounding me with the same one-winded voicemails and messages. And so block him! Block him! Change your number! Have you changed your number? Have you blocked him? Have you done anything? No, because you're still using him to torture your parents. I changed my number several times and deleted my Facebook. Okay, I'm sorry then if you changed your number several times. My mother won't... Well, how's he getting your number then? My mother won't let me live down how, I'm, how I almost made her and my father get a divorce and how I'm a horrible person. Let me say one thing. Between the hospital and the engagement, my older sister couldn't take the back and forth abuse by my mother. She ran away to another state where then her husband snapped because he couldn't take my mother's abuse.
That same week they threw me out. My father and mother rented a truck and drove hours away to save my sister and bring her back home. Meanwhile, I got tossed out like a complete pile of shit. So the scapegoat and the golden child were getting replaced by one another on a weekly basis and was hell. I was still the scapegoat and my sister was playing the victim to my mother getting on her good side. Meanwhile, my middle sister is just constant worried about me and keeping me sane and staying out of the drama. So you know what I did? Said fuck everyone and found a roommate and moved out. Which is what you should have done from the very beginning. Because at this point in life, I felt like I was in prison living at home and watching my mother idolize my sister treating me like shit. Then this narc man constantly harassing me, I felt like death. So I moved a few towns over from my hometown and further away from the narc man's hometown. I cut off the narc. He went insane, showing up everywhere. Friends' houses, work, flowers. I even called the cops. Myself for him, showing up in my new workplace. I got off social media, changed my number, and literally living in peace. But my mother is still hounding me and is still blaming me on social media. Blocker. I refuse to look at his account and refuse to open up to my mother. But when the narc is not around, she likes me. And when he is around, she hates me, vice versa. I'm a month and a half clean from my narc, and I can't explain the emotions I feel. It was all fabricated and manufactured love, and I'm just crushed. My mother is now up my ass, trying to play nice and save the day with her fake mother bullshit. I've had it with all of them. What do I do next? I feel like it was a tug of war for, for two controlling narcs. What the fuck just happened to me? Just to let you know, I'm dating someone new and the narc showed up at the house, banging the door, screaming. I want my wife back. We're getting married. Cops were called, had the ring in his pocket and manipulated the cops. The cops asked how he found where my friend lived. And he said he Googled his name. Google is public info, so he couldn't get arrested on stalking charges. He had done horrible things, manipulated me in different ways. I can say stories of gaslighting and manipulation, but this story was two years in a nutshell. Uh, I'm drained. Thank you so much. Only healing and happiness in my future. Fuck these marks. Anonymous. Okay. You got caught up in a ping pong situation. I don't really believe you didn't think the guy was married. I think you thought it would just piss your mother off and this was your way of giving her pain back and forth. You're not going to win like that. You're not. You're not going to win playing one narc off the next. You never will. Now, as far as the rest of your family goes, for them to, look, you have to be able to at least understand there is a legitimate concern with you dating a married man who's behaving the way he behaves. However, your mother's jealousy was not born out of you dating an older man. It was born out of her jealousy of him being better than your father and you having the possibility of a better life. So that's where it was coming from. Even though she was probably doing you the right, the, doing she was doing the right thing, trying to get you away from a married man, she wasn't doing it for the right reasons. So the lesson to be learned here, even when the narcissist is doing the right thing, they do them for the wrong reasons. And you got stuck as a ping pong ball between two narcissists. And what you need to do is start recording. Why would you answer the door and not record it with this guy? You guys, if he shows up, you need to hit record, hit record, hit record. And maybe he'll get the point and go the fuck away. He's a business owner. What's his business? Start exposing him. Start exposing all his dating stuff. Expose him. Don't be anonymous. Come out and say who you are.
You need to find a therapist that deals with trauma. I don't know if that's what you're dealing with or not, but that's what you need. But you need to get it through your head that you cannot use one narcissist against the other and keep ping-ponging back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're setting up your own scenario for them to make you look bad and make you look crazy. I gotta eat something, so. So I'm sorry if it seems a little harsh, but again, I'm losing my voice and my head's starting to pound. So this is gonna be my last video for um, for day, I think. Um, it's actually getting late. I should be going to bed anyway. Thank you for your contribution and thank you for your story. I hope this helps. Thank you to everybody watching. Uh, please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a narcissist you'd like to expose or a topic you'd like me to cover, you know what to do with the PayPal and my email link in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. Sally Matthews, thanks for watching. See you all again soon.